hello friends and welcome to another tutorial from Xenotrust and in this one we are going to look at JavaScript timing events okay so um, basically JavaScript can be executed in time intervals okay and this is essentially called timing events and then there are two methods we are going to talk about in this video um, that handle you know JavaScript timing event the first is the set timeout method and the second is the set interval method okay so um, basically what I have on the screen here is just a simple index.html and script.js okay with a connected empty script.js and I have this um, browser preview right inside of Visual Studio Code okay so if you want to know how I created this setup I'm just going to leave a link to a video I did in the description um, that is going to show you how you can create this setup okay so first let's start with the um, set timeout um, method okay so the first one is the set timeout method basically what the set timeout method does is that it executes a function after waiting a specified number of milliseconds okay or after waiting for some time okay generally but that time is in milliseconds so basically it executes a function after waiting a specified number of milliseconds and i'm going to show you what that is so um i'm going to create a function here so i'll just see function and this function i'm just going to name it greet okay so this function is good it's just going to greet okay so i'm just going to say alert right and i'll just say hello so just a simple greeting right and i'll save okay um i don't expect you to do anything because i mean i've not called the function yet now I'll come down here and i will say set timeout okay so your timeout your t is going to be capital letter okay that um the camel casing okay so let's open a bracket so um the first thing we want right for um want to set inside of this bracket is the want to um, call the function rather okay this function parameter that we created here okay um so i'm going to say greet okay so greet and then i'm going to add a comma and then i'll specify the time okay so i'm just going to say i want it to occur after 3000 milliseconds and 1000 milliseconds is actually equal to one second okay so that's why we have three so this is actually three seconds so let me just come here and see one zero 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 ms that's millisecond is equal to one second okay yeah so i'm going to save this and watch what happens so after three seconds you see we get um an alert down here hello okay so basically that's how the set timeout um method works okay so I gave it this function we created here as the first parameter and then the timing parameter also that's the 3000 milliseconds which is actually equal to 3 seconds. Okay so it's pretty um, simple and straightforward but did you also know that we can add arguments okay inside of this function so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to comment this out okay first and I'll just come down here and paste it in one more time ouch okay so i guess i have to copy it first so Control c and then i'll comment it out and i'll paste it in here so maybe what i can do is I'll, i'm going to pass in some arguments here inside of this function okay and basically i'll just see message and i'll add a comma and i'll say user or i may as well just change this to maybe phrase and then right here um, inside of the alert I'll then come here and say alert and I'll change this to so let me just quickly do that I'll say phrase okay I'll then concatenate it I'll just use a plus I could have as well used um, template literals but then I'll just use a plus here and I'll give a space and add a comma so this is just going to be hello and then I'll just add a name here okay so I'll just say John okay 
oh this is going to be user sorry so user okay and then i'll save um so let's down here is where i will then add the um arguments here so i'll come here i'll add a comma and i would say for the phrase i'll set it to hello so that's going to be in quotes so i'll say hello and i will add a comma here and i'll then say john or it can actually be anything so zeno and then i'll save now watch what happens boom so you see it says hello zeno okay so i just wanted you to know that we can actually add arguments inside of the function okay and you know bring it into the set timeout um method okay all right so that's basically how the set timeout method works okay so but then we can also use our es6 um arrow function okay when we have just a single um line okay we can actually use our e es6 um, function so let me show you how to do that so i'm just going to say okay i'll say set timeout and then let's open our brackets and here we're going to call the greet so greet add a comma oh sorry that's not what i want to do so i'm, I'm going to comment this out right so let me just comment this out and so we want to use our arrow function okay so um basically what we're just gonna do is i'm just gonna do this and give it space okay and because it's just a single um line we're calling here okay just an alert i can actually just go ahead and say alert and it will be you know javascript will assume that it's a function okay and here i will then say hello so let's just do that okay and we can add a comma here and say john okay so this should also be in okay so john and okay so let's save and oh so i did not um give it a timing so basically we should also give it a timing so i'm just going to come out here and say 3000 and i'll save and as you can as you notice it waited for three seconds before um the pop-up came up okay so i just wanted you to know that we can also use the arrow function when we have just a single um code in our block okay so um that's about it for the set timeout function but then I'll, before we go to the set interval i also want you to know that we can use a function to clear the timeout okay and let me just a method rather to you know clear the timeout so for example if i don't want this set timeout to um you know to be called right i can use the clear timeout method okay but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to just comment this out here okay and i'm going to create a variable so basically i'll just come down here and i'll create a variable I'll say let's greeting right be equal to and basically i will just say set timeout so maybe i can actually just copy this guy here so i'll just do this copy and i'll paste it in okay so i've done that here and i will then come down so if i save this right it's going to call this function oh i think i did something wrong here so i wanted to say let's greeting be equal to okay so let me save that all right so it works now if i don't want this this um greeting to be called basically all i just need to do is to come down here and say clear timeout okay so my code editor is already giving me a suggestion and inside here i'm just going to say greeting and then i'll add my so just watch what happens so i've saved it and as you can see there is no um hello john coming up okay that's because of the clear timeout um method that we set here okay so that's uh, that's about it for the um that's about it for this um set timeout method so basically it waits a um num a, a specific time before it calls a function or before it does something 
so um, a practical um, real world example will be when maybe you want a pop up of maybe something like your subscription form your email subscription form after a user has stayed on your website for let's say 30 seconds or one minute or stuff like that okay so basically for um, interval right set interval method so maybe what I'll do here is I would comment out all of this first okay and then I'll write for the set interval method so basically for the set interval method it's similar to the set timeout method except that it repeats the function every um, X number of milliseconds okay so based on what you specify so let me just show you so basically what I'll do is I'll come here and say let greeting right be equal to and then I'll say set interval okay now inside of this set interval right I'm just going to use an arrow function to simplify everything okay and I'm going to alert something okay so basically I'm just going to say hello right so hello let's come out here right add a comma and then say 3000 milliseconds so that's three seconds okay and then if I save this watch what happens so one two three okay that's the first hello I'm gonna close that up and another one and another one and it's gonna continue like that okay so basically that's what the set interval does it, it execute the function every three seconds unlike the set timeout method that executes the function just once okay all right so this is the set interval method and a use case for the set interval method really um when i create um when i create um apps android apps and i want maybe to display an ad every let's say x amount of time i use the set interval method okay all right so but then there are a lot of um, um situations where you can actually use the set interval method okay uh, so basically let me show you one last thing before we go so for this sent interval method we can we can you know prevent it from happening okay so it's very similar to what we did for the clear timeout it's just that here we're going to say clear interval okay and then inside here i'm just going to say greeting and then i'll save So I'll close this and refresh the page. So let me refresh the page, and you'll notice that the um, set interval method is not, you know, functional. That's because we've added the clear interval method here. So basically, um, this is just a summary of um, the very two important methods that we use when we are dealing with um, timing in JavaScript. Okay, so JavaScript timing events. Okay. So um, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and see you in another video.